Now 20 days into the Israel-Hamas war, and as the fighting continues there, efforts are underway here to keep every American safe, especially after recent spikes in hate crimes. The Florida chapter of the Council of American Islamic Relations met today with multi-faith leaders and community activists in a show of solidarity. CBS News Miami's Yvonne Taylor has their message. They made reference to a South Florida resident who, according to the organization, recently lost multiple members in Gaza, and now he fears retaliation. All this while we talked to a girl who decided to open up to us under the condition of not revealing who she is. We're urging you, our elected officials, to keep every American safe. This is how the press conference began. I also mean including those who are Muslim, those who are Palestinian, and those who come from an Arab community. And the message is loud and clear in light of the number of people killed in Gaza. It has exceeded 6,500 since October 7th, according to United Nations. Fear of speaking out was a subject addressed at this event held in Sunrise, even more so after a recent announcement by Florida Governor Ron DeSantis about banning the Student Justice for Palestine organization in 12 state universities. FIU included, where this rally for Palestinians was held on Wednesday. We talked to this student, member of the SJP organization, who said these activities will continue. She asked us not to reveal her identity. I don't think we plan to stop. I think stopping is, again, just letting them silence us. It's an affront to free speech. Uh, when you don't represent both sides and, and have prayers and well wishes and concern for both sides, see the value of both sides, that's demeaning. That causes um, serious angst, but sometimes it results in physical issues. They said the war is part of the American history now. Families with Jewish people affected and Palestinians in the U.S. with loved ones affected too. But they said the latter is rarely addressed by politicians. Their final message was to local and federal government about over 100 American Palestinians trapped in Gaza. They said that they need help coming back to America. In Sunrise, Ivan Taylor, CBS News, Miami.